Catherine, my love. Today is the day I have dreamt for, for a long time. Proverbs says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. You are my good thing. I'm honored to become your husband today. You know the depth of my love for you. I promise that my love for you will remain consistent. Whatever it takes, however hard it gets, whatever happens, however much I want to leave, I will choose to stay. I choose you today, I will choose you then. Today, I'm not giving you vague promise statements. I want to be clear because I believe in the sacredness of this covenant we are forming today. I vow to cherish you above all others and forsake everyone else, cleaving to you alone. You are truly my best friend. I have watched you be patient with me. You know my heart more than anyone. You have consistently pursued my heart for the past 512 days I have known you. I am a pursuer. Meeting a woman of substance like you who can match that and even outdo me has been one of the Lord's greatest blessings. I pray that the next 100 years together will be a story that inspires nations to pursue Jesus. I pray that every day you will glow in the Lord as my wife. I pray that the Lord will bless us with wonderful children whom we will launch into all spheres of influence for the sake of Christ's name. And one day, I want to stand in front of the Father and present you to Him with gratitude and honor that I had the joy to care for you and love you. Until that day, I promise to be yours and choose daily to love you. Hubie. Dear Hubert Christian and Gabriano, Today, I become your wife, and my goal is to reflect to you how Christ's church relates to him. I am beyond excited to build our home together, all by the grace of God. I promise to pay attention to your strengths, needs, and desires. I will be your lover. I will strive to be your number one cheerleader. I will believe in your dreams. I will not let you feel alone. Every day, I will be your best friend. I will be the companion by your side, available, intentional, and consistent. My vow to you is unconditional respect. I will not leave you or forsake you, even if you fail or struggle. I will draw near to you emotionally and relational. I won't forget that I need you, nor look elsewhere like the grass could be greener away from you. I will recognize how God designed you with strength to reflect Christ's initiation of love and direction to me. I will receive that initiation. I will respond to your offers with encouragement so that I do not disgrace your precious vulnerability. I will trust your love for me as you lead. I will appreciate and celebrate that love. I will trust God to lead our family through you. I forever acknowledge the authority and responsibility God has given to you as a husband and rejoice in the security. I will always pray for you. I will appreciate your work and provision. I will give you my 100%. I will hold fast to you and become one with you. I promise to prefer oneness with you over any other way or option, lest there be any separation between us. When you weep, I will weep, and when you rejoice, I will rejoice. Hubert, I promise to go anywhere with you. I will take risks with you and not fear anything that is frightening. How? I trust the Lord our God. I vow to honor you in public and in private. I will see to it that I respect you. I will enjoy your body, soul, and spirit. I will prize intimacy with you. Hubert, you are the most amazing, attractive man I know. 
you will live up to your name, brilliant mind, brilliant heart. Your name also means gift, and I cannot believe the incredible gift God has given me today in you. You are the strongest lover and have won my heart. I cannot wait for a lifetime with you. I know it will be full of adventure. Surely, God has wonderful plans for your life, and I can't believe I get to run with you. You have been so loving, gracious, hum humble, and much more. You are a good leader who keeps our focus on King Jesus. You are so responsible and talented and respected and intentional. You have proven faithful in little, and I sense God will entrust to you greater responsibility than we can even imagine now. I love our dreams and our friendship. I am excited to work with you, play with you, affirm you, and comfort you on a whole new level as your wife. I could not be more blessed. I could not be more confident that our story is from the hand of the living God. May he grant you favor, strength, and peace now and always as you become all he meant you to be. You have what it takes. Yours affectionately, Catherine. As a branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me, says Jesus in John 15, four. Well, it's by the authority committed to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and by the authority of the state of Minnesota, I pronounce you husband and wife and you may kiss the bride.
You guys look scary. 